Good afternoon, I'm Ed Pozzuoli, president of Trip Scott, and welcome to another one of our webcasts. Today we have our friend, a uh, longtime friend, Bob Swindell. Bob is the CEO of the Greater Fort Lauderdale Alliance, and Bob, welcome. Thank you very much, Ed. I appreciate the opportunity. Greater Fort Lauderdale Alliance, talk about the purpose of the Alliance, just so everybody understands uh, who's watching this. In a nutshell, what the Alliance does, we're the economic development organization for Broward County. It's our responsibility to create a business brand for Broward, um, to manage projects when companies express an interest. They, hopefully they've seen the marketing and they add Greater Fort Lauderdale, Broward County to its list of potential sites. We also have a research component. We have a director of business intelligence. Um, and then we work very closely with the county and our municipalities and organizations like Career Source Broward. So um, those four factors are sort of the, the core underpinnings of what the Alliance does as an economic development organization. Now the good news, uh, and much to your, uh, your credit and the organization's credit, is that you've been recognized as one of the top economic development groups in the country, and obviously we all benefit from that. Share what's been the secret of the success of the Alliance. You know, when I joined the Alliance in 2003, um, the landscape wasn't like it is today. Um, and a big part of that was in 2008, um, Ray Ferraro, who was a former president of Nova Southeastern University, along with Wayne Heisinger, Mike Jackson, um, Alan Levan, a group of executives, Terry Stiles, got together and they said, you know, we really need to do a better job of, of telling the Broward County story. Um, so 20 CEOs got together and said, we're going to form the CEO Council and give Broward County, the, the Broward Alliance at the time, real marketing power to get the message out and create that business brand. So those 20 executives agreed to invest a million dollars a year to give us a, a marketing voice that we never had before as an organization. And very few organizations of our size have that kind of firepower. What's the secret of the success in the execution side of this? So, you know, really creating the business brand. So um, Jordan Zimmerman, to his credit, joined this group of, of, of executives. Um, and we've been working with Zimmerman in advertising um, since 2009. Um, created the first campaign, Life Less Taxing. Um, created a television commercial. But really created the, the understanding and the awareness that not only does Florida have great quality of life, you know, geographic resources, a beautiful place to live, but no personal income tax. Um, Wayne Heising has got a great punchline at the end that people remember. Um, so that whole life less taxing campaign was a big part of it. And we broadcast that um, in national media markets in greater New York, Boston, and Chicago um, during shows like Squawk Box. And when we thought our audience would be watching, I'm really telling the Broward County story and that there's uh, executives like Keith Koenig here, um, that really have roots in this community and, and gave the example of why their companies have flourished in Florida and especially Broward County. I remember Wayne's quote was something like, it's not what you make, it's what you keep. You got it exactly. Okay, so the Broward County economy uh, today, give us a little status of where Broward County is relative to Florida and, and, uh, um, and the underlying reasons for it. We're hitting way above our weight. And what I say by that is our unemployment is at a historical low. Um, we realize there's folks that are underemployed and there's folks that have stopped looking. We're hoping that they will return to the, to the workforce pool because now we're seeing a shortage of workers. Um, but we're looking at record low unemployment um, since before the, the Great Recession. Um, we look at job growth. So you know, unemployment is one measure. The other measure is are you adding jobs in your community? So for the past 12 months, we've brought over almost 36,000 jobs to Broward County. Interestingly enough, that represents 54% of all the new jobs in South Florida. So more than half of all new jobs created in South Florida are in Broward County. So we're driving it. We're driving it. And that's just not what we're doing. That's what we're doing with organizations like Career Source Broward, Broward College, Nova Southeastern University, um, Florida Atlantic University. We work very close with our educational partners. Uh, but it's that combined effort, you know, we have a unique collaborative model in Broward County that when I talk to my peers across the state, really reinforces why it's unique. And while I've touted this unique collaboration and what makes us stronger as a community, um, if we have a meeting with a client and the director of the port or the airport director need to be a part of the meeting, it's a phone call for us to have them at the meeting. And typically we could have Steve Cernak and Mark Gale at the same meeting. That sends a message of confidence to our potential companies that you know, we can't replicate. So that collaborative model works incredibly well. So talk to me a little bit about the regional aspects because 
you know, Broward sits right in the middle of South Florida, you know, between Palm Beach and Miami Dade. And how do we how do we work together from a region standpoint? And and how do we bring to bear the power that the region has across the country and across the world? For the last 10 years, we've had a, a very collaborative working relationship for South Florida as well. We just did an asset map of all the technology companies in South Florida. And again, this is something I'm doing collaboratively with Kelly Smallridge, my counterpart in Palm Beach, and Larry Williams, my counterpart at the Beacon Council in Miami-Dade. We have a, a, a Southeast Florida map of all the technology companies. Again, to reinforce that there's an amazing number of technology companies in South Florida. So if you're looking, if you're leaving school, uh, you're going to a, you know, one of the top rated technology schools in the United States, we want South Florida to be on their map. You know, our economy in South Florida, we would be the 38th largest economy in the world if South Florida were a nation unto itself. Um, larger than Israel, larger than Peru. Um, and we have the blessing of geography. As you said, we're in the middle of the three counties. So right. it's very easy to draw a workforce from all three counties if you're situated in Broward County. A company who's looking to relocate, give us the three main reasons why they should relocate and consider Broward County. So when we talk to companies, uh, I think the, the first issue that companies need to have a, a confidence in is the business friendliness of the community. Um, you know, that means that we will, you know, it's service after the sale. So, you know, after you announce, yes, we've decided that, that Greater Fort Lauderdale is going to be our location, it's working with them on their building acquisition. You know, we're not, we're not in the real estate business, but we connect them with, with professionals in real estate. We help them with their build-out process, so if permitting is involved, we have a team at the Alliance working on what we call our Platinum Permitting Program, which has 21 of our 31 municipalities actively working with us on how do we improve the permitting process. The second thing is the tax climate. You can't get away from that. Right. You know, We've got no personal income tax. Um, we've got very reasonable uh, property taxes in, in Broward County. So getting that message across that it, it is a little bit of what Wayne Heising has said. It's not what you make, it's what you keep. We've calculated that somebody moving from the Northeast can add 11 to 12 percent in their take-home pay by living in South Florida. So that's a great incentive for companies that want to make sure their employees have a great quality of life, but then also have additional income that they keep in their pocket. Um, education is without a doubt a critical part of that formula. Um, so we've got great options in Broward County. I think Bob Runcie's a you know, very innovative educational leader. We've got people like John Hage who leads Charter Schools USA that provides charter school options for students in Broward County. We've got amazing magnet programs. We're creating academies in, in Broward County, um, trying to mix up the model. We want different results, so we're gonna to have to try different things. And I think making as many of those choices available to parents as possible is important. So Bob, I appreciate the time that you're spent with us. And, and you know, honestly, I uh, really do appreciate the work that you uh, and, the, and the Greater Fort Lauderdale Alliance do uh, to bring quality business and put the focus in on Broward so people understand what a great place it is to live and work. Uh, so very much, thank you. Thank you, Ed.